Now, Ukraine's air defence now uses the US Patriot missile system, donated by the West to help stave off Russian attacks. Now, Russia says its latest attacks, which some claim include hypersonic missiles, were able to destroy Ukraine's missile defence system. But Ukraine has dismissed this as Russian propaganda. US officials are suggesting that the Patriot system was likely damaged, although probably not destroyed. Let's get more on this from Frank Ledwidge. He's a former military intelligence officer and joins us now from Oxford in the UK. Good to see you, Frank. Um, can we start with these Russian hypersonic missiles? Tell us, do they have the capability of seriously damaging the Patriot missile uh, defence system or even completely destroying it? The answer is probably yes if they are used in sufficient numbers to overwhelm the system. There's one qualification or a major qualification to that, of course, and that is that in the last attack on Kiev, which was two days ago, Ukrainians shot down all the missiles striking the city. Now, it's probable that they didn't use Patriots for those. It, it seems the missiles they used there were shorter range. But the direct answer to your question is yes. The other issue, of course, is if they did damage or destroy one Patriot launcher, of course, there are many or there are several more. I think the Ukrainians have about seven. And this goes back to Mr. Larson in your previous report, who would perhaps remind us all that uh, the US has 480 launchers, none of which, of course, are being used in combat at the moment, whereas Ukraine has eight. Mm -hmm. These hypersonic missiles, I mean, they, they, they seem quite terrifying. They're 10 times faster than the speed of sound, uh, making them almost impossible to shoot down. But um, are they maybe not sort of quite as scary as previously thought? Absolutely not. There's no doubt whatsoever that Ukraine has taken down some, if not all, of the Kinzhal missiles that have struck uh, or been fired at Ukraine. They're not proper. Uh, they're not proper hypersonic missiles. They have a very limited manoeuvring capability. Now, before three weeks ago, there was some doubt as to whether the latest model of Patriots could, in fact, engage and destroy these. Now, we've no doubt Patriot can uh, can can deal with with Kinzhals, which, as I say, in any event, are not really true hypersonic missiles. What they are essentially are modified ballistic missiles. And uh, yes, Patriot can deal with those in sufficient numbers. OK. And, and have these hypersonic missiles already been frequently used by Russia in Ukraine or is, is their use a new development? No, it's not new. They, they were used first, as I recall, last April. That's April 22. There was another attack, I think, later last year and uh, a flurry about six weeks ago, just before the Ukrainians managed to operationalise uh, with help, American help their Patriot batteries. Uh, so they have used them before. And of course, they're limited in their stocks too, uh, the Russians, and they will be depleting those as the attacks, many of them, it seems futile, go on. Frank, we'll have to leave it there. But thanks so much as ever. That's former military intelligence officer Frank Ledwidge. My pleasure. Thank you.